I'm Mike Johansson. I'm an assistant clinical professor in the Department of Family Medicine at the Wexner Medical Center at The Ohio State University. When we looked at the highest expenditure drugs in the United States, we noted that many of these drugs were branded drugs that had generic equivalents that were as good or nearly as good as the expensive branded drugs. Therapeutic substitution is the use of a similar but not the same drug within a drug class. So we set out to try to quantify this to see how much we could save if therapeutic substitution were instituted. We analyzed over 107,000 people in the, using the medical expenditure panel survey between 2010 and 2012. This is a nationally representative survey of the United States population. Of the 107,000 people included in the study, 62% used any prescription drug. Of the total population, 32% used a drug from one of the 26 included drug classes. 24% of individuals used a drug from one of the classes that was generic, while 17% used a branded drug, and 9% used both a brand and generic drug. In total, we identified $73 billion of potential savings if therapeutic substitution had been instituted. Of this, $24.6 billion was paid by the consumer in out-of-pocket expenditure. We concluded that therapeutic substitution offers great potential savings to the healthcare system. However, for therapeutic substitution to be undertaken on a large scale, great care would need to be taken to ensure that patients continue to have good outcomes with their, with their prescription drugs, and the system isn't made more cumbersome as a, as a result of therapeutic substitution. The next steps in this research are to determine whether or not the providers or the patients seem to be driving the demand for the expensive branded drugs. 